Hey guys, um, today I am doing a Megacon haul video. Um, it's probably a really stupid idea, but you know, I just thought I would share all the stuff, the cool stuff I bought. So yeah. Um, I went all three days. Um, Friday and Sunday I was dressed as a Pokemon schoolgirl and I was Glaceon. If I can figure it out, I will put a picture right here. If not, I don't know what to tell ya. Um, I just completely spaced out. <laughs> um, and then Saturday, I was a very last minute Princess Bubblegum. I just happened to have a pinkish purple dress. And um, the morning I left, which was Friday morning, um, I woke up at like 5 or 6 so I could sew a stupid pink sash and make a stupid cardboard crown. Because it literally my friend and I thought of it like the night before we were leaving. Oh hey, let's do adventure time. Not a good idea. Anyway. Okay. I also have some notes that I scribbled down. So if you see me look down a lot because I'm looking at this lovely notebook. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I bought a lot of prints because there's like a lot of merchandise I couldn't really afford to buy. I only had like 200-ish dollars, and there's something I really wanted, it was, um, a Play Arts Kai, um, Sora figure, which I did not know they had a Sora figure, I thought it was basically just Final Fantasy figures, um, but it was like a hundred bucks, and that was really upsetting, I was like freaking out for a good ten minutes over them, like it was a regular Sora, and then I believe there was a Riku, and then, um, there was like, the Tron style Sora and Riku, and then it just looked really cool, and they were pretty big, they were probably like this big, and I thought that was pretty good for a figure, and I could understand why they were selling it for a hundred bucks, but I looked it up on Amazon, and it's only 85, <laughs> so I'm probably going to buy it eventually, yeah. but then there was also, um, several of the Lightning, um, Returns, Play Arts Guy, and they were being sold at like, like one kiosk had it for like a hundred bucks, another one had it for like, 85, another one 90, and it was just, I couldn't justify spending like half my money on one thing, and I would have not been able to have left with as much cool stuff as I did. So anyway, on to the prints. I believe this was the first print I bought, if not, it was like one of the very first, like two or three. Um, and it's not really a print, it is actually a watercolor. of, um, Nagisa from Clonod. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I just thought that was really awesome because I don't really see anything of that anime. Like, I don't know why it's really good anime. It should be super popular. But, um, I believe it was by, um, I didn't catch her name, but I got her card, um, Sakura02. Hopefully, was that on there? If not, you got it twice. But, um, I looked at her website and her other watercolors look very similar to that one, so I'm just going to assume that that was her. Um, next is this awesome Sora headshot. It's not on very stiff paper, so yeah. Um, and that was by um, Ty Richards. And, uh, it was just awesome. I just thought it was cool that there was a Sora headshot. Like, how awesome is that? Um, this next one is of, um, Ariel and Ponyo. Um, and I believe, I'm not really sure, but the person's signature on that print looks a lot like this little RR symbol. So I'm just going to assume it's the same person. I don't know if that was on screen, so hopefully it was. <laughs> I'm going to be putting links to everything, like, down in the info, so you guys can check that out. Um, and then I don't have a card for them, because I believe I got these on the last day, and they had run out of cards. Um, but it's basically, like, um, a Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman set, just because they all pretty much have the same border. This is the Harley one. and Poison Ivy and Catwoman. There was a 
doesn't really have a lot of Catwoman art. I mean, she's not my favorite, but she's pretty big, so why is she not? I don't know. Everyone likes Harley and Ivy. I mean, I love Harley and Ivy too, but Catwoman's in there. She's part of that trio thing that they sort of unofficially have. Um, now it's time for the big giant prints. Uh, these next three are all by, um, Nick Miner. I have their card also. And then on the other side, I believe they had a print of this also, but I didn't get it. But it's pretty awesome stuff, Gambit. How cool is that? I don't know, I think it's cool. But anyway, first up is this Bioshock and Portal crossover. And it's pretty cool because it's kind of like, hey, what the heck? Robots? I was not expecting robots. What's going on? I don't know, it's cool. Then next up is one of my favorite Borderlands characters, Tiny Tina. Is this on screen? Yeah. Tiny Tina. And then this beautiful art of Riku from Final Fantasy X-2. And I got the last one, so I was so happy. I was so excited. Um, next is this Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn print. But it turns out my friend that I went with, uh, someone she knew or she went to high school with, he actually does art now and comics and stuff. And he was there and he had like a whole booth and everything and that was pretty awesome. And of course I bought this Harley and Ivy print. I believe he drew it. Um, his name is Jamie Jones. And then um, I can't tell if it's a KO or a KU but I believe he inked it and whatnot because he signed it as well. But Jamie's business cards are awesome. Like apparently he wore, even in high school, he wore um, bow ties all the time according to my friends. So he's got a bow tie on his business cards. And then on the back is all the stuff you need to know. Check him out because, yeah, that's cool. Um, and then, I don't have a card for these, but the name is on the print, so that's helpful. Uh, my mom hates this print, and it's kind of funny. I mean, I understand why she hate it, hates it, because it's pretty brutal, but I think it's really cool looking. I don't know, it's um, zombie Ariel, and she is eating Flounder and Sebastian. And I don't know, it's just awesome. Just awesome. Oh, and that was by Loco Duck. I don't know if you saw that. And then I also bought um, this Harley Quinn and Star Wars crossover. She's Princess Leia when she was a slave. And it says, sorry, Mr. J. And then, I have this really awesome, like, this took my breath away when I saw it. Um, this Sailor Moon print. I hope that's on there, because it's beautiful. Um, and that was by Venice Smart. Uh, she has a Tumblr, and I believe she posted it there. I'll probably put a link so you guys can see it, like, better quality. But it's, like, the most beautiful Sailor Moon art I've ever seen. And I absolutely had to have it when I saw it from, like, across the way. I just saw it hanging up, and I was like, I need that. <laughs> and then, there's a few more. This is by Jamie Tyndall. It is Assassin's Creed Sisterhood. Uh, 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 Assassin's Creed Sisterhood Rising, apparently, according to up here, but, um, this was just awesome, and his other art was cool, I wanted to buy it all, um, but I had enough Harley Quinn art, but he basically took, like, magazine covers and put, like, um, superheroes and villains on it, like, there was, um, a Rolling Stone cover with Wonder Woman, and a couple with, um, I can't remember the magazine names, but there was, like, Deadpool on it, and Harley Quinn, and it was just awesome. I wanted them all. It was really cool. Um, okay, so next, um, I have two larger prints. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually by this guy, but, um, 
he shared the same booth, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, that um, the first print or watercolor I bought, uh, it was shared by like two or three people, and they weren't always around, like when, because I think the only time they I bought prints from there and um, they were around was when I bought the print from the, wa the watercolor from the girl, and um, I think Sunday, or no, I bought Isabel, or <laughs> I bought Isabel, <laughs> um, that same day, I believe, um, and I think it was by this guy, Jonathan Perry, um, his, uh, Tumblr is Juggling Dinosaurs, and I think it's him because he posted a picture of, um, a BMO print he had, and it looks very similar in style, um, so I'm pretty sure that Isabel is by him, I'm not really sure about this Kingdom Hearts one, but it looks similar, right? I mean, I guess I just could be wrong, and I'll just edit it somewhere, you know, <laughs> um, and I believe, oh wait, no, that's not it for prints, it's not really a print, where did I put it, where'd it go, oh, there it is, this little tiny, um, Totoro sticker, and he's being rained on, he says, oh, okay, and, oh no, these were by, um, Kicking Cones, and oh my gosh, everything they had was so cute, it was like pugs, and, um, little penguins, I think, dressed as characters. I believe my friend got a Buzz Lightyear sticker and, um, I want to say Boba Fett. Pretty sure it was Boba Fett and Buzz Lightyear because that would be something she would buy. <laughs> um, and that's it for prints. Um, next up we have, like, actual things that I bought. Um, and this first thing I'm going to show you is something I bought just because I wanted the bag that came with it because I was tired of carrying around prints. But it was, um, from We Love Fine, and I've kind of had it laying in a pile of clothes for a while, so it's kind of wrinkled and got cat hair on it, but it's, um, this portal shirt, and it, I love this shirt, it's really soft and comfortable, um, uh, my friend bought one that, um, says, it has, like, a picture of the cake from Portal, and it says, like, Aperture, uh, Catering, and it's, I don't know, it's just a really funny shirt, and I like this one just because it's different looking. And I don't really have that many Portal shirts besides, like, this Bioshock and Portal crossover thing. Um, and then the next one, I was really... The next thing I'm showing you... Sorry, I can't talk. Um, it's something I was really excited to see, and I absolutely had to have it. Um, it's the Oblivion Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Hopefully me leaning back like that doesn't look awkward. But I was really excited about it because it's really nice made, though it's not as good as the ones with Kid made, and I was really jealous of it, and I kind of wanted to take it from him, I wish I knew who he was, but, um, I like that it had the chain on it, um, just because I bought a Keyblade last year, I bought the Kingdom Key, and it didn't have a chain on it, and I thought that was really weird, but all the ones that I saw last year that had the chain had, like, um, uh, Mickey Mouse's head on it, like, um, and I don't believe the Kingdom Key has that on there. I could, I, I really hope I'm not wrong, because Kingdom Hearts is, like, my favorite thing. But I believe it has the crown on it. Or if it, um, if it has Mickey's head, it's just a silhouette. But these were, like, Mickey's head, like, with the eyes and everything. And it was just weird. Um, next I got a Moogle plush and a little, a little puff. And little wings, and it's so cute. I just had to have it. Um, I've always wanted a Moogle plush. So this Moogle looks kind of strange to me. The first Moogle I ever saw was in Kingdom Hearts, and they have the little red puff and a big old nose, like, out to here. And then, first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy X, and I don't think there were any Moogles in that, besides, um, Lulu's, uh, magic plush thing. But even, it, even then, it, it looked more like the Kingdom Hearts ones. But it's still a Moogle, and it's super cute. And I love it. And then, this next thing, I saw it from, like, <laughs> super far away, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? It looks cute. And it's actually from, apparently it's from an online comic, which I haven't checked out yet because I just don't have time, but it's called Pumpkin Spiced. And, um, I guess the girl who made it, she has, like, a Twitter and an Instagram and everything, um, I actually talked to her a little bit on Instagram, and she's so sweet, and, um, this little bat, it's so cute, and apparently it's, I think, um, the entire eye and the little teeth glow in the dark, 
And like, I didn't, it was like $5 or something, and I was kind of like iffy about it, and then they were like, hey, the eyes and teeth glow in the dark, and I was like, okay, I have to have that. <laughs> I buy things for the most ridiculous reason, but look how cute it is. Come on. I wish I knew that if it's, if it's actually a character in the webcomic, like they told me, I want to know its name so I can actually call it something and not just a little pickback thing. And then I bought some car decals. They are on my car, so I cannot show you them. But I bought a Harley Quinn, um, the Heartless symbol from Kingdom Hearts, um, a Sailor Moon, where, um, you've probably seen, I like I said before, if I figure it out, I will put a picture. But, um, it's where she's kind of, like, in front of the crescent moon, and she's kind of like, ooh, I'm transforming, you know? <laughs> and then, um, I bought a Portal Companion Cube one, um, the Assassin's Creed symbol, the Borderlands Vault Hunter symbol, and I believe that was it. Yeah, that was it for me. My friend, because there was like a deal with a certain amount you bought, my friend got the um, Mass Effect M7 symbol. And then probably the best thing that I scored at MegaCon, like the best thing, like when I saw it, I thought it was just the case and I was like, that's just the case, that's stupid or whatever, but even though they were selling like all these other older games and then, but I couldn't believe that they would have this one. I haven't tried it to see if it worked, but the discs are in pretty good condition and I was just so stoked and you're going to see the price on this and you guys are going to be like, what? Final Fantasy 7 for $30 and I just couldn't believe it. I I basically stole this because it sells for like $200 on eBay. So I basically stole this from whoever was selling it because $30, wait. They also had the super rare um, misprinted one, but it was $45 and I really basically only had 50 bucks left and I couldn't justify that just because, I mean, if I had extra money, I would have bought it and then resold it on eBay to be honest. But this one I am keeping. And then, I think... That was it for merchandise. And then I have all of these business cards from people whose stuff I saw when I didn't have any more money. Or I just saw it on the first day. And I don't think I really bought anything on the first day, to be honest. Because um, I just wanted to get a feel for everything. I didn't want to blow all my money on the first day, you know? Because that's just something I would do. But this first card is um, peachseas.com. And they have a bunch of different little mini shops on that website. The first one is the one that's actually on the card, which is Jolly Garden. And that's actually what caught my eye when I saw this. Um, those cute little dragons. And, like, they have a little plush. And there's, like, necklaces and bleh, necklaces and charms, too, of the little dragons. And But the other two shops are called, or three, actually, are Kitty Cafe, Tidal Pool, and Zodiac Moon. And okay, I'm super excited. It says, they all say coming soon, but Kitty Cafe, even in the description, it says, like, kittens, coffee shop. Yes, please. Okay. That just sounds awesome. I can't wait. I'm going to have to, like, stalk that website and see when they post that because the dragons are really cute. Um, and this next one, I didn't buy anything because I believe I had, like, $10 left and... But everything was awesome. They had Grumpy Cat bookmarks, um, and then... Okay, I asked them for a business card, and apparently they ran out, which I am not surprised at all because this stuff was awesome, and I could not handle this website when they told me, but it's paritopress.com. Perito. <laughs> like, and they had a print, they had, like, cat and Doctor Who prints, but I was more interested in the cat prints because there's one where the cat was, like, I think it might have been, like, a blanket-looking thing, and it was wrapped like a pierogi, and it said pierogi at the bottom, and I don't know, I just love puns and things like that. Is that a pun? I don't know. You tell me. But, yeah, they were just really cute, and um, everything's on their website. I just want to buy it all. Uh, this next one, I can't remember why I walked over to it. I think I, like, they had a... Sailor Moon uh, Fiona mashup print and I walked over and they have prints and buttons and geek lip balm and these lip I wanted to buy one but I couldn't but it's um Geek Fire Labs okay um so these geek lip balms they smelled really really amazing and I wanted to buy one and 
the girl made them all, made, like, she makes them all herself, and that's just really awesome, but I smelled two of them, um, one was, like, Harley Quinn themed, and the other was Hunger Games, the Harley Quinn one was called Hey Mr. J, and, um, it was Red Velvet Cake, and I am a sucker for anything Red Velvet Cake, because that is my favorite cake, um, and I just, I wish I could have bought it, I'll probably order one, um, and then the Hunger Games one also smelled really nice, um, like, it was a really warm scent, um, it was called Girl on Fire, which makes sense for it being a warm scent, and it was cinnamon and vanilla, and then when I was looking at their Etsy, I saw they had, um, a Marceline one, and it's sugared strawberry scent, I didn't know what it smelled like, because I didn't smell it when I was there, but, um, I don't, is that a Marceline kind of scent? I, I guess it could be. Um, but yeah, they have all these other ones too on, um, their Etsy, and I, I'll probably end up buying, like, a set, or maybe, like, a small set, I don't know. But, um, this next one, which I'm stupid, because I didn't read this side of the card first, but uh, I read this side, and I'm pretty sure the entire time I thought it said Geek Hello, which I don't know why, when it says Geek Ella, clearly, because there's not a K and an H, I don't, I... I'm not good at reading things, but, um, they had these really funny prints, like, there was one of, uh, three Pokeballs, and it said, Ball So Hard, and then, um, there was one from Mario Kart, and it was Mario riding the little cart, and behind him was the stupid banana peels that suck, and it said, Riding Dirty, and that was just so funny to me, and I wish I wanted to buy it. I can't, I'm gonna, like, this is the part where I'm gonna say I wish I could've bought everything, because I ran out of money. And I just wanted money for food and to go home and stuff. Um, and they also had some Legend of Zelda prints. Um, I didn't, I don't think I saw the ones I saw on, um, on their website. Like, there were ones at Medicon that I don't think they had online. At least I didn't see them when I looked, but, um, I'll double check that. Um, this next one, um, I actually saw it on the print on Tumblr, like, the day before Medicon. And I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. I hope I see that there. And I think I followed her, and then I just completely forgot about it until I was walking through, and I saw it, and I grabbed a card. But, um, it's Danielle Gransall. I, I hope I'm saying that properly. Oh, I hope y'all can read that. Um, wait, there's, and there's a picture of something she drew on the other side. But, um, what I saw, um, on Tumblr was, um, it's called DC Derby Babes, and it's basically Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Batgirl, I believe, uh, dressed up as Derby Girls, and that's so, like, roller derby girls, and that's just so awesome. I wanted it also. Again, I'm, I'm gonna try and stop saying that, because that's annoying. Um, this next one is, um, I believe it's Gina, Gina Peppershack? I'm not really sure. But, um, she had some really nice prints, um, and I don't know if she had the necklaces there at Megacon, but they're on her Etsy, so, yeah. <laughs> and then, this next one, um, had some really cool prints, like, they're really cute, um, apparently they're called Hero Squares, um, and they were, like, um, the ABCs with, like, pictures of heroes and villains representing the letter, and also there were, like, themed ones, like, I can't remember some of the themes, but it would be, like, heroes dressed up as, like, other characters, like, not superheroes, but, like, completely random things, like, I think, I might have been, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a McDonald's Hamburglar, I can't remember who was dressed up as him, though, but this is their card, Drew Blank, and it's just, I thought, also, I noticed, um, and I thought it was really funny that it says Arter and Rightist instead of, um, writer and artist, like, I just thought that was clever, and then, that's it for, like, actual things, uh, these next two things are things that were just given to me, um, I'm assuming it's an online comic, because there's a website, but it's, like, this little mini version of a comic called Life with Squid, and it's just a little cute <laughs> comic, I just thought that was adorable, and that's kind of a cute way to get people to read your thing, like, I don't know, and then this, I couldn't believe this was real, but apparently it was, they were selling posters and stuff. Sexy Mario? <laughs> Has anyone heard of Sexy Mario? I don't know. But on, and why it's covered in silver things is I guess they wrote on the back with silver marker and then they just put them all in a pile. 
but mine says, my balls are on fire for you, baby. <laughs> like, what? I couldn't believe that was real. Like, and then I saw someone walking around with like a big old poster and I was like, are you serious? What? What? <laughs> anyway, that is my Megacon haul. I'm sorry it's just ridiculously long. And if you made it this far, you get, I don't know what you get. Um... You get an achievement. How about that? <laughs> achievement unlocked for a ridiculously long video watching period time thing. Yeah, we'll pretend that didn't happen. But anyway, if you were at Megacon, let me know your experience. That'd be cool for me to hear because I like hearing that kind of thing. And um, if you think you saw me, let me know because that's awesome. I've been trying to find pictures and I got asked to take so many pictures and I can't find any of them. I found like five, maybe, maybe more than five, probably like eight. But like, all these people, like, like probably like at least a hundred people throughout all of the days. And I can't find more than eight. And they've all been on my Pokemon cosplay. I have n there were some taken of me as Princess Bubblegum, but I have not seen a single one. And it's just strange. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.